They finally pulled it out around 10 o'clock. There's still no sign of Joe? Not yet. Well, they haven't stopped looking for the body, have they? Hey, do you fight it, you're in Behola. I just can't believe he's gone. Neither can I. You see, you've been in a coma for almost a year. You're my brother and my father. Answer me! Your father and your brother are dead. <sighs> we gotta get out of here. Why don't we break that jar over there and use it to cut the rope? Sure you're not with the feds? Hold it! Tonight on the Hardy Boys, Soul Survivor.
地地，你我去去讲俾阿 Lida 听，佢佢可以，佢起咗身啦，啊，快去。Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. Could you tell me what's going on around here? Do you know your name? Of course I know my name. Well, what is it? Pardon me? Your name. My name's Joe Hardy. Na Hardy, la Tatsi, that's the name. Ha, Hardy. Good, very good. I'm surprised you can even remember how to talk. My name is Doctor Low. Doctor Low, where am I? Look, why don't you get some rest, and we'll talk later. How long have I been here? What, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Wednesday? I've been here almost a week. You see, you've been in a coma for almost a year. It's Wednesday, January 17th, 1979. <laughs> Lida. What are these things? They're attached to an EEG machine. It records the electrical impulses from the brain. It'll let us know if there's any damage there. Is that chance? When everyone's been common to us a long time, there's always that chance. Wonderful. A sense of humor is the first thing to go. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Do you know where you are? I'm at a hospital. Do you know where the hospital is? Oh, I tried to, to find out, but it's tough to get a straight answer around here. We're in Hong Kong. What happened to me? You were in an accident. A bad accident. Do you remember? No, I... I, I vaguely remember an ambulance ride. Before that, you were in a rental car. He's doing some sightseeing. Yes, well, the car was struck by a truck. It was pushed into the harbor. The fisherman pulled you out. How was I injured? Broken ribs, fractured skull. You developed pneumonia two weeks after arriving here. Kind of glad I missed all the fun. Where are my brother and my father? Shall we start? Did they go back to the States, or are they still here in Hong Kong? Answer me. Answer me! Lie down. They're okay, aren't they? Aren't they? You have a lot of news to catch up. Where's my father and my brother? Your father and your brother are dead. They have been for 11 months. <laughs> Thank God. How did it happen? I don't think we should talk about it right now until you regain it. I want to know. We don't really know. They were involved in something political. We only know what we read about in the newspaper. Something to do with the transfer of a defector. I saved these newspapers for you. And your letters from, from people back home. I liked them. Your brother and your father, they were here day and night after you arrived. 
they loved you very deeply. Would you prefer to be alone? Buzz, if there's anything that you need, anything at all, Me point blank. Could be very dangerous to overload him so quickly. You must remember, an entire year is missing from his life. Dear Joe, it's so hard writing at a time like this. Ink on paper seems like such a cold and impersonal kind of communication when there's so many things I want to say. They tell us you're not ready for visitors yet, and you can't receive any phone calls, so I guess it will have to do. News of your accident and your father and brother's tragedy reached us on a rainy Tuesday in River Heights. The hardest, most depressing day of my life. It's hard to conceive, but I know you must be feeling even worse than anyone here. Just please accept our deepest condolences and know that we're pulling for you all the way. Try your best to get well quickly and know that your father and brother are now in a better, easier place and we want you to carry on with life just as soon as you can. Best wishes, Nancy Drew. Reading your letters? From everyone I know. I just spoke with Dr. Lowe about your EEG. And? You have no permanent brain damage. Good. Your Aunt Gertrude visited about five months ago. She wanted to take you back with her. Why didn't I go? Your condition was too delicate. And Dr. Lowe is respected as a neurosurgeon the world over. You couldn't have been in better hands. When do I get out of this thing? When your muscle tone returns. Don't forget your body was dormant for almost a year. Is that why I feel so stiff? I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but... Where are they now? The Red Chinese returned their bodies. They were flown back to the United States. He should be regaining his memory as the hours pass. Well, when can I speak with him, Doctor? Well, I think we should uh, wait a short while. It would be stupid to press things at this point. He's coming along just as we had hoped. Prince Charles's wedding to Princess Caroline came as a complete surprise to both their families and to society economists the world over. The couple plans to honeymoon in the British West Indies and to return to London on the 23rd. And that's the news this Thursday, January 18th, 1979. This newscast has been a British Commonwealth Broadcasting System presentation. Charles and uh, Princess Caroline. That's lovely. You should leave. They'll be back very soon. I want to talk with them today, Doctor. It's too soon. It's important, Doctor. Well, tonight, after supper. But only if I'm convinced that he's ready. Now, he may not remember much anyway. Why? The medication. We'll reduce the medication. Yes, that would be best.
Who is she? She's a nurse's aide. She's not supposed to be on this floor, and she knows it. United States President Jimmy Carter left today for a journey to Uganda to meet with the new Ugandan President, Utu Mubata. Talks will center around the re-establishment of diplomatic relations following the overthrow of the tyrannical regime of Idi Amin three months ago. Carter, at a press conference prior to departure, said that he hoped that the talks will be meaningful and lead to a fruitful and long-lasting relationship between his government and the new Uganda regime. In other news, the Soviet Union announced that sales of the night... Oh, this one's nice. Oh, that's pretty good. You cut it out! Do you, do you, you like spray it on your own hand, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and how much is this one? This one, three dollars. This is two dollars. Is this American dollars? This is Hong Kong dollars. Hong Kong How's this one? Joe! Joe! Yeah. Joe! 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 Cut it out! Oh, come on. Let's not get into a perfume war. How much is this one? Two dollars. This is two dollars? Mmm, that's delicious. I think we'll take this one. These ah! Worm. I'll be fine, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Hardy. Was your supper all right? Yeah, it was fine. Uh -huh. Your EEG was nearly perfect. Did Lita tell you? By the way, there is a gentleman outside who wants to see you. Uh, do you feel like talking to him? Who is he? An American uh, from a, a federal agency. Something about your, your father and your brother. I is he here? Yes, in the hallway. I'd very much like to see him. Thank you. Mr. Abrams. Hello. Hi. Uh, Mr. Peter Abrams, Joe Hardy. Uh, doctor, I, uh, I wonder if uh, we could be alone a few minutes. Yes, of course. Keep the conversation short. Well, how are you feeling, Joe? I'm holding up. He's in there talking to it now. Good. Uh, we have a theory, Joe. We have a theory that the whole thing was a setup. I mean, right from the very start. That your contact here in Hong Kong had gone over to the other side. Alan Klein? Mm-hmm. He was an old friend of Dad's. They went all the way back to Air Force Intelligence in the 50s. Well, old friendships don't mean a lot in the spy business, Joe. Yeah, I guess they don't. Alexander Cartel was another friend of my father's who he had worked with. He tried to kill him once. It was in Acapulco, wasn't it? Yeah. I want you to tell me about it, Joe. Everything you can remember. If Klein did change allegiances and your father and brother died because of it, I want to track them down and make them pay for it. Uh, it all started uh, back in Bayport. Dad got a phone call. It was Klein calling to tell him that Professor Chang Soi Lai had expressed interest in defecting to the West. Apparently, he'd made a discovery, uh, something to do with biological warfare. He wanted to leave with his papers before his superiors found out. Anyway, he requested that Dad set up the defection from the other end. Uh, we arrived at the hotel in Hong Kong with Alan Klein, our contact. Klein started filling us in on what the procedure would be. What was the procedure supposed to be? You know, that's something I can't quite figure out. But when I read the newspaper, it said my brother and father were killed in a boat in Victoria Harbor. Well, that's not the way it was planned originally? No. Chang was supposed to take a junk across the Strait of Kolon by himself. We were only to wait on the pier at Point Queen Victoria. There were big worries that an East German group had heard about the defection and would try to kidnap Chang when he arrived. 
What day was that? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, February 25th, at dawn. Well, if uh, Klein was up to what I think he was, those... Those changes may have been made to throw your father and brother off balance. So you think Klein had something to do with their death? Well, the more that I hear about it, the more that I think he might have. You think he has something to do with my accident, too? Perhaps. It may have been another one of uh, Klein's little efforts to throw your father and brother off balance. I mean, I... I imagine they were pretty distraught. Is there anything else you can tell me, Joe? Nothing that would help, I'm afraid. I want to thank you. I know this must be terribly, terribly difficult days for you. Yeah, they are. I uh, just can't believe that they're gone. You know? I, uh, there's been a year. Well, you get some rest. And I promise you that if Klein had anything at all to do with this, I'll get him. I'll keep you informed. Thanks. to meet him tomorrow at dawn, Point Queen, Victoria. He's coming by boat. You took a terrible risk moving so quickly. He might have figured out something was wrong. We're lucky I took the risk. We've had less than 24 hours to prepare. We're gonna get Chang. around 10 o'clock. The tide had moved it nearly an eighth of a mile from the site of the crash. There's still no sign of Joe? Not yet. Well, they haven't stopped looking for the body, have they? There's nothing to be done about it, Mr. Hardy. The current drags everything out to sea. I'm sorry. In my opinion, we should abandon the entire operation. But there's still time to notify Chang. Oh, no, we can't do that. Photographs just came in from Langley. Lita Mannheim, Kieran Quo Lo, and Hans Abrams. They're all members of an East German spy organization, Schwarzkreuz, and they all came into Hong Kong last week. Have you seen any of them? No. Why, is there reason to believe they knew about the defection? Not yet. But believe me, there's nothing the East Germans would rather do than put their hands on Chang. I don't think we have to worry about that. No one knows the details of the defection except the four of us. Three of us. We'll memorize the faces and keep your eyes peeled. We will. Not a year later. Do you speak English? Shh. Just tell me what's going on here, you know. Who are these people? Oh, 
these people? Why have they sent this whole scam up? Hans, no. What is this? What are you doing here? She told him. No, I figured it out for myself. I could still smell the perfume. I spilled some on my clothes. That wouldn't have lasted a year. It's all right, my friend. We've already gotten what we need. Now move. Who are you people, anyway? What kind of a con is this? I said, move. It was all real easy for you, wasn't it? Congratulations. Transylvania? Mm hmm. You know what Joe claimed? What? That when we arrested Stalin, his reflection couldn't be seen in the mirror, as if he was the real Count Dracula. I wrote him pretty badly about that for three months. Don't, Frank. No two brothers could have been closer than you and Joe were. I guess we should call Aunt Gertrude. Tell there's not much hope. Yeah, I guess we better. So you people aren't with the feds. Couldn't you tell? If you're the good guys, we'd be wearing white hats. My father and my brother aren't dead. No, no, they're not. Not yet. I trusted you. You were supposed to trust me. Hope they're paying you a lot. So typically American. You all think that money is the only reason anyone does anything. No, I just hope they're paying you a lot. Because you can make a fortune in Hollywood. You were really good. You were really, really good. You know, I would be quiet if I were you, my friend. You see, she's the only reason you're still breathing. Nice. Here they There, I thought we were crashing a wild party.
Move. Move. The uh, place will be closed for the weekend. So have a good holiday. I got him. Yeah. Well, it'd be nice if you tell me what's going on here. I mean, here I am in the middle of this big thriller, and I don't even know who these people are or what they're trying to do to you. What they were trying to do was convince me that it was a year later. They wanted to get some information out of me. Information that would be absolutely meaningless a year from now. Oh. So, they're spies? Yeah, something like that. So that makes you a spy, too, huh? Yeah, something like that. Dad? Yeah? Sun's quarter to five. Klein will be here in a few minutes. Oh, yeah, right, son. Did you get any sleep? I just can't believe he's gone. Neither can I. Come in. Hi. How are you two holding up? Well, we're ready to do what we came here to do. Well, if you want to get something to eat before we leave, I suggest we get going. I don't think either of us feel like eating. This isn't working. I can't get these ropes. Break that jar over there and use it to cut the ropes. You sure you're not with the feds? I'm a student, and at this moment, a very excited student. You know, I haven't had this much fun in years. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Look, if you push and I push, we can work our way over to that jar. And get up, okay? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Move. I'm going to break this jar. It's filled with nails, so watch out. I don't want one of those. I see. As you wish, Lita. As you wish. Now remember, everybody dies but Chang. We keep him alive at all costs. So who are these people? I'll tell you who these people are. These are the people who are going to kill my brother and my father unless I get out of here quick. 
terrific. <clears throat> Clint Eastwood could probably blast his way through here. Clint Eastwood wouldn't get himself locked in here. See if you can find something that you can wedge this door like a screwdriver or anything. Nothing's gone wrong at the other end. I do too. Chang won't last two hours if he's caught by his people. Should I see if I can raise him? No. We're supposed to wait and let him contact us. <laughs> oh, I loosened it for you. Come on. We gotta get to the cops. Well, isn't there some unwritten spy code that says you don't go to the cops? Does anybody sleep in Hong Kong? Taxi! Taxi, hold it! Taxi! Thanks, buddy! Let me try it. Okay. Stop! Okay. You can't be subtle in Hong Kong. Let's go. Handlebar, Shorty to Handlebar. Do you read me, Handlebar? Hello, Shorty. This is Handlebar. Do you read us? Hello, good friend. Is everything okay? Yes, it is, Shorty. We're ready and waiting for you. How far out are you? About half a mile. You should be able to see the boat. We have yellow sails. Yeah, we have you in sight right now. Hurry on in. I'm anxious to talk to you. Are your sons with you? They have probably grown up since I last saw them. Only one, Shorty. Only one of them. That's the junk. I'm sure of it. There are only three in the reception party. This is almost too simple. <laughs> They'll just wait until they land. Humping you! 
Professor Chang, you certainly look different than you did last time I saw you. Not only are these clothes different, but I think I've aged 20 years in the last 10. 10 of them in the last three hours. Why, did you run into trouble? A patrol boat crossed right in front of us. Luckily, it was so dark, they didn't see us. I have a car waiting, and I think we should hurry. Uh, this is Alan Klein of the U.S. government. And, of course, you remember my son, Frank, don't you? Yes. It's been a long time, Professor. It certainly has. Why, you're about this high when I saw you last. And where's your other son? Is it Joe? Well, there's been a tragedy, Hold it. Professor. Please don't. Abrams. Yes. Who are these people? They were the East Germans. Their intelligence heard of your defection. Get him. What are you going to do with us? What do you think I'm going to do with you? You'll never get away with it, Abrams. You'll never leave Hong Kong alive. Oh, I think I will. did your newscast. They hid this machine in the chest. Now watch. Prince Charles is wedding to Princess Caroline. It's unbelievable. It's... You know what really got me with these letters? I mean, the handwriting was so perfect. You can bet those people did plenty of research before they started this operation. I talked to Lieutenant Cho Tse of the Hong Kong police. He told me they found out how you were originally knocked out. How? Apparently, the steering wheel of your rental car was painted with some sort of chemical substance that's absorbed through the skin. Causes unconsciousness a few minutes after contact. So there never actually was an accident. I mean, I wasn't in any kind of a river. No, he simply blacked out, that's all. Is Chang on his way back to the States yet? His plane took off for Washington five minutes ago. Hi, Spy. Failure. I didn't get a chance to thank you. Oh, I'm the one who should be thanking you. In fact, I was hoping I could take you all out to dinner tonight. Do you believe this? We almost get this girl killed, and she wants to take us to dinner in return. Well, actually, I was hoping that you could tell me how I could get into this line of work full time. Pardon me? Well, when I graduate from Berkeley, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. This, is, this isn't the kind of thing you should be doing. I mean, this is dangerous stuff here. We take our lives in our hands almost every day, and the pay is terrible. We work nights. It's a dirty job. I'd love to explain it to you over dinner. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 